Hi everybody, hope everybody had a great week. We are back again. Hello Nella. Hi. How are you Carlo? Very good. You ready to... I'm always ready. You're always ready. Um, so today, today, you know, seeing that the holidays are, are coming, uh, it is customary, I guess it's a tradition, yeah. to have lentils, uh, Italians, that's what we do, to have lentils on New Year's Eve. And it's supposed to bring you good luck for the rest of the year. Uh, now, if you know about lentils, they're healthy to have any time of the year. They're high in fiber, uh, yeah. and, they're, and they're good for you. And so Carlo's going to show us how to make lentil soup. a lentil soup. Size of lentil, there's the little ones, the bigger ones. These ones are the small ones, it takes maybe 25 minutes to cook. Uh, and we don't need, sorry, Carlo, we don't need to soak them. No, these you don't soak them. Make sure you wash them because you yes. might have little stones inside, so you have to just make sure that you wash them to get off all that dirt. And then, you know, uh, and check inside if sometimes you might have little rocks. So uh, we have celery, carrots, onions, basil, olive oil, tomatoes, chili salt and uh, thyme. Some people what they do is it's just a, veg a vegetable, uh, you know, a meal, vegetable based, based flour. Right. You know, we have even a vegetable broth that we're going to put inside. You, I put sausage uh, inside the, uh, the lentil. It gives you a better taste. And then you could serve it in a, in a bowl with the lentil and a piece of sausage inside. Right, and so it's your choice. Right? Yeah, it's your choice. Okay. All right. Okay, so, so now, we need to start chopping. That's right. right. Yeah. About the celery, sometimes you, what you what you can do you have the celery if you don't want, you can just clean the back with this piece over here. Because of the uh, because the of filaments. You know, yeah, the filaments of when you when you eat, when you eat them, put them in your mouth. So you can do that, clean them out if you want. Yeah. And and don't cut them too big because they have to cook because the lentil is uh, they're small, so you don't want to over over you know like. Uh, so it's a small bite. Yeah, it's a small bite. And this cooks also very quickly. Yeah, very quickly. And the carrots will be the same, the same size as the as the celery. So, if you know. have, if you have also the celery leaves, that also adds uh, adds yeah. flavor. A little bit of bitterness, maybe. Yeah, but, but you don't want to. Depends on the soup because you really, if the lentils are small, you start putting like in a lot of uh, green, and then it's not as. It doesn't look as nice as the plate? No, because you want to see the lentil. That's what you want to see, the lentil. Okay. So again, you want them all more or less the same size. Yeah, you try, especially with the carrots, it takes more, it takes more time to cook, so... I think usually that's the longest part about prepping uh, soup, is just getting your vegetables yeah. all chopped up. Unless you're Carlo, and then you can chop up vegetables in like two minutes. Yeah. It's just the experience, it's not that, you know, anybody could do it, it's just that... Just watch your fingers! <laughs> yeah, because the fingers are... Uh, Those are the first to go. Don't worry, it happens a lot of times, a couple of cuts. But like you showed us the last time, you keep your fingers in... Yeah, your fingers inside, and your knife more mostly on that side, because if you go in, well, your nail is going to come off. Right. So you're guiding it with the back of your, yeah. your fingers. And that's why a lot of, a lot of chefs, what they, uh, what they do is that they look at you because they, they don't have to, there's no way they're going to get cut if they, keep, uh, if they keep their finger in this way. So even if they talk to you, it doesn't matter because you feel your blade on this side. So the, you know. There you go. He's looking at you. <laughs> yeah, it's not the... Uh, so we have our vegetables. Do not try good. this at home. No, <laughs> no you just you can do that. The onions are the same. So you cut them in half. The way, same thing. And then one side over here. Again, this is this is the holy trinity, right, Carlo? The carrot, celery, and the onions. Well, this is called in our world, in the kitchen world, it's called a mirepoix. That. Uh, even if you have a roast, you don't cut them this small. But celery, carrots, onions, you cut them in like big, big squares and you put it with your roast to make the sauce. So that's what we're doing right now. But this is more like, you know, for the soup. So it's gotta go in your mouth. So 
this is it. And then we get a piece of garlic. Don't forget to cut at the end. Here it is. If your board moves, put a wet rag under. Yeah. And it'll, it'll, it'll move anyway. So we did a couple of carrots, a couple of celery stalks, yeah. one medium onion, and garlic, two, three, it really depends on the clove. Oh, the quantity too, the size. what you're making. Right. And we have about two cups of uh, lentils. Okay, and we'll put the basil, a basil after, the bay leaf after, with the tomato. So now we're gonna stop. We're gonna rinse. The lentils. The lentil. We'll show you when it goes back in the, uh, in the container. All right. So here we go. So olive oil, and we're gonna start putting the carrots, the onions, all together at the same time. So we stir this first. You could put it even if you want a little bit of white wine. So we'll put the tomatoes in. It all depends on how much you soup you make. Then we'll put the lentil. Well, usually what, what I do is we could put the lentil or we could put the broth. Make until the broth it gets to uh, boil. And then we'll put the lentil, so it'll be like a pasta. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna season the, the vegetables. So salt, the chili, thyme, We're gonna have uh, the basil left, but I, I like to wait until the last minute for the, for the basil. So we have the carrots, like I said before. We're gonna put our broth. Now I'm gonna put the bay leaf inside. And I'll put the lentil, which we washed. So the lentils are washed. I made sure that there was no little rocks inside because sometimes you might have little rocks. Stir. I'll put the basil. We lower the heat. I'll put the cover. And that's it, so we wait. All right, so. Wow. Our lentil soup. Yes. So if you notice the vegetable, the little lentils, tomatoes, thick. That, that's what we that's what we like. It's a nice thick hearty soup. Yeah. Absolutely. And vegetarian soup. And a vegetarian soup. But if you want, you could put a couple of sausages in there. Yeah. And it'll give it more of a... I think it's enough. Huh? Yeah. And so it's you serve nice. it like that and you can serve it with two pieces of bread. This is parmigiana cheese whole. Big pieces and over it a little bit of, a, of parsley. Of parsley. Very nice. So, so this, 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 yeah. This is gonna be your soup if you want to make it for Christmas and like yeah, New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Yeah, New Year's Eve. That's, good luck. Yeah, that's right. That's what we so all do. Eat your lentils, New Year's Eve, and you'll have good luck, good health for all the all the whole own. year. Thank you, Carlo. And come back and see us next year. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Be good, guys. Bye-bye.